Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Courant Fisher theorem about estimating eigenvalues and permission matrices. So this is the Courant Fisher theorem. It says if A is a Hermitian matrix, with eigenvalues with eigenvalues lambda 1 less than or equal to lambda 2 less than or equal to lambda n arranged in this fashion then lambda k for example is the minimum over all subspaces s a subspace with dimension of s equal k, the maximum over all vectors x in that subspace of the Rayleigh quotient. And the Rayleigh quotient is going to be x star, I'm going to suppress the vector notation just for simplicity, over x star x like that, right? And then you can also write this by sort of the symmetry of negative a, right? We'll, we'll figure out how negative a works in a second over here. So here's the idea of this proof over here. So let's prove this result. So how does it go? So we're going to let, let phi 1 hat, phi n hat be an orthonormal basis of eigenvectors. Okay. Such that, of course, A of phi i is going to be lambda i phi i hat like that. That falls from the spectral theorem, right? And so now I can do the following. So I'm going to consider now, let's let s be any subspace of dimension k. Okay. And now consider, let's let s prime be the span of phi k hat up through phi n hat, right? And so now s has dimension k, and then s prime has dimension n minus k plus 1. So we know s intersect s prime is not empty by dimension arguments, since the dimension since dim of s plus the dimension of s prime is equal to k plus n minus k plus 1, which is n plus 1, and that's bigger than the entire matrix space, right? So in other words, that's strictly bigger than n, so there's non empty overlap, okay? And so now, of course, <clears throat> what can we say? We can say the max, and technically I should be using supremalism, but the maximum is attained over here, right? The max of x and s of this really quotient, x star ax over x star x is bigger than or equal to the max over x in s intersect s prime of this thing. That's trivial because this is a smaller thing you're doing the maximum over, right? And of course, the max is bigger than the min, right? This is bigger than or equal to the minimum of x in s intersect s prime of this Rayleigh quotient. We're just using properties of maxes and mins here, right? I'm just maxes and mins, right? And now, of course, I can make the min smaller by replacing it with just s prime over here, right? So this is bigger than or equal to the minimum over <clears throat> x and s prime of x star x a x over x star x, right? And of course, I can minimize this thing over here by looking at what? Of course, these eigenvalues for uh, k plus phi k plus 1 through phi n are all bigger than phi k, right? So in other words, we can attain this minimum over here just by plugging in what? By plugging in x, by choosing the value x. And of course, these are all x that are non-zero, right? So I have to make the specification that I don't want x to be zero, right? So that's always an assumption in this problem, that x is not zero, right? x not zero, not zero. So all these x's cannot be equal to zero, right? Otherwise, this is a silly expression. Not equal to zero, not equal to zero, et cetera, right? So I'm going to suppress that notation just because it's obvious. Okay. All right. And so now I can achieve this by doing what? By choosing the value x to be phi k, right? 
and any other thing is going to have larger spe larger spectral radius over there. So if I choose that over there, that's going to be a one, and that's going to give me a lambda k, right? So in particular, what we've shown over here is we've just shown that the minimum, right, the minimum over S, it's true for any subspace of dimension k. So the minimum, therefore, S a subspace, S a subspace dimension of S equals k of the maximum over for x in the subspace x, s, x not equal to zero, of this Rayleigh quotient over here is at least lambda k, right? And then, of course, how do I show that it actually attains lambda k? <clears throat> and so note, if I choose s just to be the span of phi 1 like this through phi k, then that implies the dimension of S is equal to K, right? And if I choose this for my subspace and plug in again this by the same trick, plug in X equals phi K, we actually attain attain lambda k. So in fact, not only is it bigger than or equal to lambda k, it's actually equal to lambda k, because I can attain that by choosing this to be my subspace of dimension k, and this to be my uh, choice of unit vector phi k hat, right? It's now, of course, there's the corresponding dual result over here, right? The dual result is that what you can say is just a remark over here. We should remark that we can do this in sort of a more generality, and so it's our remark. Our remark is that by considering, if I look at consider Consider negative a, right? Of course, the eigenvalues of negative a are going to be negative lambda n, negative lambda minus 1, and then negative lambda 1 is going to be the largest now, so they just interchange roles, right? So by considering negative a, we can conclude by flipping, and by flipping the maxes and the mins, I can conclude the max, and now the dimension of s is um, s a subspace with dimension dim s is n minus k plus 1, and then the minimum over all vectors x in these subspaces, and then x not equal to zero of our Rayleigh equation over here, x star a, x over x star x. By symmetry, looking at negative a, by the fact that these things flip orders, we can also conclude that this thing over here is equal to lambda k as well, right? Okay, excellent. So that proves this, this, is, this result over here gives us information about how we can estimate eigenvalues at a particular level in a Hermitian matrix using these Rayleigh quotients. Of course, these things are called Rayleigh quotients, right? These are Rayleigh quotients. And so Courant-Fisher allows us to estimate Rayleigh quotients by looking at subspaces that are, pro are progressively more and more perpendicular to each other and by making change of subspaces, which allow me to find exactly where the optimal eigenvalue for level k is given by this Hermitian matrix. Thank you very much.